What's up guys, Sea of Thieves 2024 preview event has officially come out. I'm going to react to the season 12 portion as this is going to be the stuff that's coming soonest, uh, but there is going to be a lot more in this preview. Uh, I'll link the actual preview itself in the description below. I'm also going to react at the end, leave a comment, what do you guys like so far about the preview, what we, you don't. Also leave a like on the video guys if you enjoyed, subscribe if you love Sea of Thieves for more Sea of Thieves content, and let's go. The kind of main aims for season 12 are about mixing up the meta and how players Ooh, enjoy all of the weapons? different aspects of Sea of Thieves. So as part of season 12, we're going to be adding two new weapons Dude, and three new tools for players I've been use. saying and that. Really I've already said that in a past video. Launch. That's another thing that they need to add on the list of things to add to Sea of Thieves is a new combat weapon. He's they need new, new weapons, weapons to the game. To add new more meta, like more versatile. New tactical choices versatility. and strategies out there on your adventures. So in season 12, we're going to be adding the double barrel pistol oh. and throwing knives. No the shit, double barrel yes, dude, is a new type of pistol weapon where you can fire two shots individually before you need to reload, or you can charge them together and release them at once for a more powerful shot. We wanted oh my to God, create this sick. new weapon it's archetype. Kind of like a bit shorter range, but like the a faster fire rate, but perhaps not as powerful or damaging as, as the flintlock pistol. But then it has those kind of blunderbuss-like qualities as well, yeah, where you can do the charge shot to release two pellets kind of at the same between. time. Accompanying it's got that six double barrel bullets in the chamber with apparently. another weapon like the cutlass, for example, for a finishing blow can lead to a fast time to kill for a player to be able to quickly I take down the target. I can see that being the primary weapon over the blunder and the flint. Season 12 also brings in the throwing knives as a weapon. Now Dude, these can sick. be used as a melee item. They have a light and a heavy melee action, but they can also be thrown and used at range as well. You can use it to kind of like stab players with like a quick attack, but that doesn't do much damage. Or you can charge it to like pull it into this kind of more yeah. dangerous stabbing <laughs> motion. And that'll slow the player's movement down. And Dude, we're gonna have like to really make some like assassin attack type videos. Like sneak up behind players. And then finally it has the ability to kind of flip the knife over, catch it, and then throw it at distance against players, which, again, kind of feels like a trick shot, and it'll do a lot of damage as well. When oh you throw God. a throwing knife, and if you miss, you can actually go in the world, and it'll stick into any of the geometry, and you so can you pull pick it, it out, and then it'll replenish your ammo. So I think, personally, Dude. for me, this is really good, because sometimes I miss, as I'm sure some of us do. Uh, so you can then just go ahead and pick it Yo, up again. So you get these up. wonderful moments where a pirate might throw a knife at you, but then you can retrieve that knife and throw it back to them. So it'll really mix up the kind of Dude, combat this is gonna be so sick for out combat. in the world and when boarding Hold other up. ships. There are three new tools in season 12, the wind caller, the scatter shot, and the bone caller. With the scatter shot, the way that it's different to a standard cannonball is it's a collection of four cannonballs, but they're much smaller. They have a much shorter fall off in range so, and a really widespread, allowing you to hit a target with multiple projectiles at That's the gonna, same time. And it does really skill gap, I feel like. small amounts of damage to the ship, just like a level one size hole. So like really quick for players to repair, but it can kind of overwhelm a crew quite quickly. Basically, if you get up close with the scatter shot and you can get a few onto your enemy, they're gonna have a lot of holes and they're gonna have a pretty bad time. Dude, what it this will is do completely is really changing eat meta. up an opponent's resources. They'd need to use more wood to repair the many holes that the scatter shot puts into the hole. So the bone caller is an awesome new throwable that players can wield and they can throw that on the floor and when it smashes, all these kind of bones come out and then skeletons spawn what? around the player in allegiance to them and they'll actually fight beside the player against enemy players <laughs> enemy Yo! Players. now you might not be going straight for just a normal cannonball or a, or a chain shot you might in fact go straight for the bone caller so you can have some skellies that you are on shoot your side on that ship sort of messing things what up what the that fuck crew. you could use fire to fight fire so if somebody shoots a bone caller across the sea at your ship and they spawn in if you have your own bone caller you could throw that down on the deck and have your own skellies go and fight those uh, to take them out for you so that you don't have to i mostly play solo and to be able to spawn literally Dude, anything that's so that's helpful to my for cause while i'm playing 
is a massive uh, positive. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And I'm sure that other players will find ways to make use of it as well. Even if they're not very good, like that's just the like another thing that new people have to worry about. Shell that players can blow into to summon the power of the wind. What, so imagine dude. the scenario that you're heading fully into the wind and you're either chasing someone or you're trying to get away from someone. Now you can use this tool to blow wind into your cells and go even beyond full billow in speed. I'm gonna love and can also that. use it to kind of knock players back off their ship or on land so they can kind of target a player, blow into the wind collar and it will oh, throw just got back You can use it as a means of propulsion for yourself in the water, but also for uh, rowing boats. So you can either use it while you're in the water swimming and you'll blast along like a really fast water boatman, <laughs> or fuck? you can stand on a rowing boat and blast it out of the back like uh, a speedboat, basically. You can put out fires and you can do it quickly. So you can just essentially walk around your entire ship is caught on fire and just put out all the fires as you walk around. Dude, and they they're can use it to like changing. stop their fall damage. Like say you're falling a great distance and you use the wind caller below you, like cushion your fall so you like land safely as well. There is like a, a finite what? charge for how long the wind caller can last for. So you have to use it wisely. Zip lines? So season 12 also introduces zip lines onto several of the islands around Sea of Thieves. So you may have seen these as they debuted in the Monkey oh Island. Oh my God, hotel. that's so and nice. And a really fun and exhilarating way to traverse. So it's really cool to be able to bring those to the wider Sea of Thieves world. So we've been looking across all the islands of the Sea of Thieves and looking at the most ideal places to kind of mix up the traversal opportunities uh, within all of the islands to add these zip lines across them. So we've added zip lines to like the outpost to get down to your ship quickly. We've added them to the skeleton forts that allow you to kind of zip line between two positions Dude. to kind of escape the skeletons or get close to them when they first spawn. Or just general kind of zip lines across the islands for like fast traversal and moving chests around the islands quickly. For example, on Ancient Spy Outpost now, you've got to clunk down some This might be the best update in, order to in get your ship. the last three. Now you'll be able to just go and get on the zip line and go flying all the way down to the jetty next to your ship. So alongside adding completely brand new tools to the Sea of Thieves sandbox, there's also the opportunity for us to go back and add completely brand new functionality to our existing tools. So another cool new feature that we're adding for season 12 is the ability to balance on harpoon lines. So you can shoot that harpoon line you can at walk. another ship or another island and then jump onto it and then like balance across. Depending on the angle in which you fire the harpoon, it'll either be like, too steep to climb up it, but if you're on the other end, you can actually you jump down. on the harpoon Dude, line and like the... slide down it really quickly what? back to the ship. We're really confident this will lead to some really inventive player boarding tactics out there in the sandbox, as well as giving you new oh my ways God. Dude, to this is the, the update they needed. With all this that we're adding in season 12, it gives players more opportunities to create those stories as we're really enriching the sandbox of every session. So we're always really excited to add new tools and mechanics to Sea of Thieves, but we're always mindful that we want to make sure that the game's health is in a really good position as well, that the integrity of Sea of Thieves is there for our players. And since we're adding new weapons into Sea of Thieves, we're very mindful that we want to ensure that the hit registration in our game is as rock solid as it can be. And this is a, an ongoing thing for us as a development team. Yeah, they... We're constantly putting time and effort into this area to try and make it as robust as possible. In the past, we've borrowed time from feature teams to address issues in the core experience, but it's always taken a back seat to the features that those teams are working on. In 2024, this is changing. We're securing a dedicated team to focus on the health of the game, bringing fixes and improvements to the things that matter most to our players as soon as they're ready as part of our regular monthly weird. updates. This is gonna be a key Especially focus for the team things. this year. We want your Sea of Thieves experience to be the best that it can be. Adding new loadout choices as part of upcoming seasons shows our commitment to making encounters between players a more dynamic and fun experience. But crucially, this all has to operate on a stable combat system. We know that there's still plenty of work to do here, but this remains a top priority for our team. March's update delivered easy anti-cheat, an industry-leading anti-cheat solution designed yeah, by Epic. For this events. solution evolves over time, keeping up with cheat developers, blocking them at every turn. This is really, though, just the first step at improving the player experience here. If y'all haven't seen any easy anti-cheat issues, this year you need to go search that right CFDs now because some Apex event just before, got Whether that be improving yikes. the performance of the game across the variety of hardware it runs on, ensuring that it's a safe, 
place to play with a focus on cheating, but also ensuring that our hit registration is as reliable as possible in all of your adventures out there in the sandbox. If they can fix that, easy is actually very good. All right, guys, so that was pretty sick, not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna watch the rest of this separate just because uh, I really only wanted to go over the stuff that's coming immediately. The combat is going to be sick. The throwing knives, I'm actually really stoked about. The pistol, we'll see how that, you know, turns out. My, uh, my worry is that it, it, the flint lock and the blunderbuss will just kind of dissipate almost. So, kind of worried about that, but the zip lines are really sick. There's a lot of opportunities with zip lining. I mean, combat, you can kind of sneak onto someone's ship, although I feel like people are going to be looking for that more, but... Say you're right behind a boat, you just hit them in the back as they're trying to go away, and... The wind thing, dude, that's crazy. Um, I think I'm gonna love it when I'm trying to get away, but I'm gonna hate it if I'm chasing ships that are trying to get away from me. So, that we'll see how that plays out. Um, it really just depends on, you know, how scaled and balanced that is, but combat's gonna be... Way more versatile to win. I don't know, guys. I'm curious what you think. Again, let me know in the comments. Um, also, check out the rest of the video. So much cool content here. Talk to you guys later. Adios.